After the aftermath of suffering from the Persona banners, my Wimite stores are absolutely dried up. Hence, I wasn't able to pull for Valentine's Chelsea, which was a unit I got excited for, after looking into her kit. My guild leader was kind enough to send me a clip of him showcasing Chelsea and Master Ciela, to allow me to make this video. I couldn't have done this without him. Subscribe to his channel, if you can read Chinese, and play Tower of Saviors. Valentine's Chelsea is a limited 5 star wind bow unit, who has successfully swayed many away from the Persona banner in favor of her during the announcement of her event. It has long been anticipated that she'll be in a Valentine's Day banner, due to her love and obsession towards Luca. Popularity aside, she is an interesting unit, but not due to her unique gauge, but her lack of a built-in affliction resistance and an immunity towards all afflictions when certain conditions are met. Let's check out how her unorthodox kit works. To allow me to explain her skills easier down the line, we'll go through with her abilities first. We'll start with her co-abilities, consisting of the standard 15% skill haste and a brand new chain co-ability, Vengeful Shield. This co-ability grants a single U shield to everyone in the team, that nullifies damage up to 25% of their maximum HP. This shield only works against attacks that inflict afflictions, and has a 20 second cooldown. In regards on how water attuned end game bosses attack, most of their attacks do inflict afflictions, with high mercury inflicting bog, while sealer inflicting vulnerability. This ability will prove useful in these stages, and is a good one to have. For her abilities, her core ability is her Mad Romantic. This ability grants Chelsea a Romance Gauge, that can hold 5 charges at maximum, and grants the following effects shown on the screen. This calls for a playstyle that revolves around filling up the gauge as quickly as possible, preferably in a team with sufficient team supporting capabilities. Her second ability, Blistering Affection, fills a quarter of her skill 2 gauge when she is on fire and grants an 8 second heart ablaze effect which increases her attack rate by 15% and allows her next 3 force strikes to dispel enemy buffs. This ability has a 5 second cooldown which is fast enough for immediate casting as her skill 1 allows Chelsea to burn herself with a relatively low SP cost. Her last ability grants her 30% more damage against storm lashed enemies, perfect for her storm lash enabling kit. Her first skill, Rampaging Passion, costs 2910 SP and deals 2899% damage and inflicts storm lash. The skill also grants the Obstruction Deleter effect, which increases Chelsea's strength by 10% for 15 seconds, but inflicts burn on herself throughout the duration. The self damage is quite similar to the original Chelsea, but is classified as an affliction, which will inhibit her shapeshift. This skill can fill the Romance Gauge as this skill grants a strength buff, and also fills her skill 2 by 25%, increase her attack rate, and grants her Dispel through the Blistering Affection ability. Overall, this skill does a lot for what it costs, and in tandem with Blistering Affection this skill becomes very impressive, though unfortunately becomes less in sync with Blistering Affection, due to her increasing resistance towards burn. Her second skill, Infinite Love, grants one full charge to the Romance Gauge, and activates skill shift with three phases. Phase 1 just grants one charge. Phase 2 grants one charge plus the Sweet Valentine effect, which increases the defense of the entire team by 15% for 15 seconds. Phase 3 grants all of the above plus but a Sweet Valentine, which increases the skill damage of her next skill by 30%. In addition, when Chelsea has all 5 charges, this skill will grant all of the above effects simultaneously, and fills up her skill 1 gauge entirely. This skill costs 11,640 SP, which is a lot, but is reasonable with what this skill does, especially at 5 charges overall, this is a skill that is decent, and becomes more powerful, when Chelsea has 5 charges.
Chelsea's playstyle calls for filling up the romance gauge as quickly as possible to empower her skills and attacks in exchange for her increasing inability to utilize the blistering affection ability as the number of charges increases. Skill haste and skill damage is what I would first put on her, as the former allows her to use her skills that can help charge the gauge, and the latter due to her high skill damage, and the ability row increase her next skill's damage through her second skill. Other applicable abilities include Storm Lash Punisher, Energy, Flurry abilities, Crit Rate, Crit Damage, and even Poison and Bleeding Punisher, if the team can inflict these afflictions. For her dragon, the newcomer Minotius works well on Chelsea, with his countering ability similar in terms of activation requirement of Chelsea's chain co ability. Veyu is a good pick with his skill damage. Midjart Sorma 0 for his flurry skill ability. Zephyr and his reborn version for strength buffs. For her weapon, the Fail Nought is the top pick, for its vast amount of abilities. Jormungand's Fury and Chimera Tech Adjwain are decent alternatives, but I suggest going for the Fail Nought as Expert Sealer is not too difficult when compared to most of the Ajito. As for her Wimprints, these 8 are what I would put on her, but a bit more skill haste wouldn't hurt. Valentine's Chelsea is certainly an interesting unit to play, with no inner affliction resistance, requiring her to build up resistance through her romance gauge. In the early stages of a battle, she can assist in dispelling enemy buffs due to her blistering affection ability, and in later stages contribute significantly more DPS, due to her strength buffs, and enhanced skills and combos. Though she might struggle early on due to her zero affliction resistant debuffs on her maximum HP and defense initially, proper play should allow her to survive and get stronger as the battle wages on. Overall, she is a unique unit, in a sense, where she is completely different from any other unit to date. A unique unit, that is also very viable in endgame content. Now go out there, and make quick work of anyone who dares to hurt Luca. That's all from me. Moga out.